we will only point out the things that is comfortable for us to point out. But Deborah was not only a prophetess of God, but she was a judge. She was a counselor. She was a warrior. And she was a wife. And here in this passage of scripture, the Bible says that Deborah would sit under the palm tree and the Israelites would come to her so that they could get their matters resolved. And the Bible says that one day while she was sitting under the palm tree, minding her own business, she called Barak over to her and she said, Barak, listen, I have a word from you from the Lord. And she said to him, she said, Barak, I want you to go down and take 10,000 troops with you into Jabin's uh, territory because the Lord is going to give Syria over into your hands. The Bible says that her and Barak begin to have a conversation and he said to her, he said, listen, no doubt I know that the Lord has told you this. I know that the Lord has spoken to you, but I just have one request of you. He said, listen, if you want me to go down there, I need you to do one thing. I'm going to need you to go with me down to the battle. And the Bible says, he said, listen, listen, Barak, I don't think you understand what you're asking me to do because you don't understand that if I go with you, I want you to understand that this battle will not be named because you went down and you got the victory. But if I go down with you to this battle, the battle is going to be won because God is going to give the victory to a woman. To the name of the neighbor, everybody needs a superwoman in their life. And so the Bible says that she told him, she said, I'm going to go down there with you. But you need to understand that if God gives you the victory, it's going to be because I'm with you. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. You need some anointed people in your life that can render some victory. You've got to understand that the boy was not just a woman that she just felt like, you know, because she was a prophetess, she just went haphazardly around using her gift and speaking to people's lives. We got a whole lot of prophets that are in and out of our cities, in and out of our pulpits, that are saying everything that they say that the Lord has given them, but there's no true power or evidence behind what they're saying. The Bible says you're no a prophet because what they say shall come to pass. And there's a whole lot of prophets that are in our lives in this season, but they're not operating under the power of God. But God said you're coming into an hour where I will
after she turned into a counselor, she didn't turn into a warrior, but she knew how to switch the hat at the right time. And one thing about it is the body of Christ, we have a whole lot of people who are operating all over the place with no order. And one thing about female passion is because we are feminine, because we're emotional, a lot of times people rule out of their emotions instead of ruling out of the spirit of God. But to Thank you. 